News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, users? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code, and I am happy to showcase the first template in the Muse for You shop. The template is called Photography Portfolio Template, and it is a great template to showcase your photos and videos. I have the template here, and it is using a few widgets from MuseForYouShop.com. Here we have the home page, and there's just a quick paragraph to introduce the photographer, or you could place anything here as well. Uh, here we have an image, this could be the photographer, photographer or just the image to introduce the website. And then right here, we can click on see my work. You can click right here. Um, and then we have motion and photos. So if you click on motions on discover more, we can go through different videos and we're using the lightbox widget to showcase video. So there we have a video here, it's a YouTube video. You can scroll down. Uh, this is using the panel reveal hover box. So when you hover over, these images here, the panel reveal occurs, and then you click, and then we're using the lightbox widget to showcase the videos. Here we have a third video, and you can place any videos here that you'd like, YouTube or Vimeo. Um, if you did want a self-hosted video, then you could replace it with the, um, the HTML5 uh, video with lightbox. All right, so we have that there. Uh, we can go here to the left, we can switch to stills, and then here we have the stills, which is the photos, and again, we're using the panel reveal hover box. And if we click, it takes us to a swiper.js slideshow and we can use the mouse to go through the images and on touch devices, you can touch with, uh, with your finger to swipe through the different slides. All right, I'll go back to stills. We have this page here, so I can switch between motion here on the right and switch to stills here on the left. Uh, we have an about page, so you can scroll through and kind of let users know what your website is about we have more images here. Uh, so it's a really nice, elegant website to, to showcase your work. And you can click on contact and we have the contact page here where you can click to email um, and then there's phone numbers and things like that as well. So this website is designed to work on all devices. I'm gonna go back to the template page. So I'll go to museforyoushop.com and I'll click on subscribe today. Here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, the template is included in the subscription. Uh, here we have the template page, so I'll click there. And I'll just read a few of the features included within the template. Um, it is using a fluid width design. It's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. There's a maximum of five breakpoints per page. The pages are organized within the layers panel. There are four main pages, work, home, about, and contact. There's two sub pages, stills in motion, and there's one slideshow page. There's five different master pages. It's fully customizable. All the assets are included, and it's for, for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. So it is using the most current version of Adobe Muse. The widgets used within the template are the panel reveal hover box widget, the swiper.js slideshow for Adobe Muse widget, the lightbox widget, and the responsive browser height widget. So those are the widgets included. Here we have the community section if you had any questions about the template and a few images of the template. So let's go ahead and see the responsiveness of the template. So I'm gonna copy this URL here. I'm gonna to go to sizzy.co, which is a good way to see your website across different width devices. And here I'm just gonna enter the URL right in this section. And I'll go ahead and click uh, there to go to the template. So here we have the home page and we can view it across different width devices. So we have uh, the iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7 Plus, iPad Air, Nexus 6P, Galaxy S4, and the Nexus 7. So that's the home page. Um, and then we can click on the menu. It has a really nice mobile menu. Um, it just drops down just like this. And you can go to the different pages and kind of view the pages there. So I'm just gonna go back and just kind of copy the URL from here and we'll just paste it right in there just so we can see the different pages and the responsiveness so here's what the uh, photos and motion uh, page looks like on different width devices again we have that nice mobile drop down looks good all right so let's go to a few other pages so we'll go to the stills page and looks very nice for mobile i can go to stills so this is just a nice way to see the responsiveness of the template. 
across different width devices. Um, I'll connect my iPhone 8 Plus in a second, and I'll just browse through the, through the template as well so we can see it on an actual device. So I'll grab another page here, the About page. We'll just paste it right up here within Sizi, and I'll click Go, and we can see the About page here as well. Looks good. And I'll do one more page. I'll do the, the Motion page. Uh, or actually, let's do the Stills page. And we'll go to the to the um, the slideshow. So here we have the stills page. Looks good, and we can scroll through the slideshow just like that on the different width devices. All right. So I like using Sizi.co. It shows me the different width devices, and I can go through the website on these different width devices. All right. So next, I'll showcase it on my iPhone 8 Plus. Okay. So here we have the template on my iPhone 8 Plus. So I'll click the drop down menu. Click on Work. Here we have the Photos in Motion page. I can click on Discover More and click here to go to the Stills page. I can swipe with my finger to go through the different images. I can click on Back to Stills and just go through the different uh, sections here within the site. I can go to the Motion page, click here. We can see the Lightbox widget shows up. I can click Play to play the video on my iPhone here. News for you. Here we have the video and close this here. We can go through different videos just like this. And click, and there we go. Click the drop down, go to about. Here we have the about page, looks good. We have the social media icons at the bottom. And we have the contact page, just like that, looks good. So there's the template on an iPhone 8 Plus, looks good. I can click anywhere and just go through the site just like that. So motion, we have video, stills, we have photos, and looks good. All right, so that is the template on an iPhone 8 Plus. So now I'll show the template within Adobe Muse. So I'll go ahead and showcase the template within Adobe Muse. So when you first download the zip file for the template, um, you simply extract the zip file, and then there's a folder called, called Muse file. You simply double click in that folder, and then the .muse file is in that folder, so you just double click. Um, it will ask you to update the assets, so you can just click OK. And that's just because the assets are on a different computer, so it'll just ask you to update. You can click OK, and then you can preview the template with all the assets uh, within it. Uh, so here we have the home page. Um, everything is really customizable. You can double click in the text, change the text and the font. You can change uh, this picture here by going to Browser Fill in Adobe Muse and just selecting a new image. Um, and here we have the breakpoints. So we have 1200, 960, 768, 550, and 320. And then we have the work page. So the same thing, uh, maximum of five breakpoints for each of the pages, really responsive. Um, and everything is customizable. You can just click into the different sections and just edit everything within the template and kind of change things around. Um, we have the about page, again, five breakpoints. Uh, really clean. You can edit all the text. And then we have the contact page. So again, five breakpoints. Uh, very clean. Looks good. And we have the stills page. So here we're using the panel reveal hover box. And to change the images, you can just click into the hover box, click within the image there, and just select any image. So here I have a few images. And we can see right away the image changes. So when you preview, this new image will be here. So again, you just in the hover box and just replace the image here, just like that. And you can uh, replace the link as well to link to any internal page on your website. Okay, and you can uh, scale to fill, scale to fit, or original size. All right, looks good. So we have uh, five hover boxes here. And again, uh, five breakpoints, just like this. Looks good, okay. And we are using the responsive browser height widget here to the left. Uh, for some of these elements here. Okay, so we just basically apply graphic style names to this rectangle here so it stretches the full height of the browser and also to this text so it stays within the middle of the browser as well. Okay, and then we have motion. Uh, here's where the video is or where we'll place video. Again, we're using the responsive browser height widget and we're using the like box widget. So I have the add first here. And then the instance number, this is for hover boxes. And we only need instance number one here because all the hover boxes 
have instance number one. Uh, we can just change the link here to any YouTube video or any Vimeo video. So I have a few links here actually, just to showcase this. So I'll copy the link and I'll go back into the uh, widget and just replace the link. So we'll have, we'll have different videos uh, for each hover box. And I have one more link in here. Just copy the link. So you can get the link from YouTube or Vimeo and just paste it right in there. And then when I preview, so I'll preview in the browser. And I click, so we have one video. I'll turn my sound on. So there's one video. Here's the second video. It goes to another video. And when I click here, it goes to the last video here. All right, looks good. So you can link it to any video you'd like, uh, YouTube or Vimeo, or you could even link it to an image. Uh, because this is the video page, I would recommend linking to a video. And we have the YouTube symbol here, so um, you can link YouTube videos to it and it'll look really good. All right, so that is the uh, stills or the motion page. Um, and then we have one more page in the plan view. We have the, the slides page. So this is where for the photos page. Uh, we're using the swiper.js slideshow um, and it's just two widgets here so we have the add first and the full screen because it is a full screen slideshow and so if i preview we can just go through the different images within the slideshow with the mouse wheel we can drag and change the images that way on a mo mobile device you'll swipe and it'll change the image as well and it's set to autoplay so when the user is not changing the slide it'll automatically uh, change the slide all right, and it's really easy to replace the images. You can just go, I'll go to the 1200 breakpoint here. I'll just go within the swiper.js for Adobe Muse widget. And within the images section, you can just replace all the images with your own images. All right, so just like that, and I'll preview. And here are the new images that I just added. So it's just that simple. You can easily replace the slideshow with your own images. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'll just go over the master page, uh, master pages. So we have a light master, which is just the light theme. And we have the footer down here as well with social media links. So let me zoom in a little bit down here. So right here, yeah, we have the social media links. You can link those. Uh, just click on each one and use the hyperlink section to link to your social media. So here you'd place the URL of your social media and the same thing up here, just click within each icon and enter in the URL of your social media. Okay, I'll zoom out a bit there. Um, and then we have a dark master, so a dark theme. So if you did wanna add new pages, you could apply these master pages to the new pages. So if I wanted like a new page here, I could just right click, yeah, right click, masters, and here I can select the, the master pages. So light master, dark master, stills master, stills slideshow master, and motion master. All right, yeah, so here we have the stills master. Um, it has the switch to motion here on the right. And we have the still slideshow master. So if you wanted another slideshow, you could just duplicate this page here by right clicking, duplicate page, and you'd have another um, slideshow here. And you could just replace the images within the slideshow. All right, looks good. And then we have the motion master, which is this darker theme. And we have switch to stills here on the left. So the user can switch to the photography page and check out the photos uh, from there. All right, so that's basically it for the template. Um, we have four main pages. Uh, let me just delete this one here. Four main pages, uh, two sub pages, and one slideshow page. And here are links to the different assets that were used. Um, this page won't be exported as we can see it's darkened out here. So if you right click, export page is not checked. So it won't be exported with the page. It's just to showcase uh, where the different assets are from and things like that. Um, so that's it for the uh, photography portfolio template. I'm really happy to have templates in the muse for You shop now. Um, there should be a template about every week and it's just to help you to build a site in Adobe Muse. Um, if you've never used Adobe Muse before, a template is a great place to start. Um, so you can see how everything is done, where different things are placed. Um, and if you know design isn't your strong point, templates are always helpful uh, to help you get started and to have a really nice site. Um, and you know breakpoints can sometimes be a daunting task. So with a template, you can kind of look at the different breakpoints, see how they work. Uh, this site is fully responsive to work on all devices, so it just saves you a lot of time. 
And you can also kind of see how the widgets are used within the template and start using you know different widgets. And if you want to replace the widgets, you can do that as well. Like if you wanted a different hover box, you could just go to meforyoushop.com and um, you know change out the hover boxes and things like that. So this template can be accessed at meforyoushop.com. And here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, here we have the photographer portfolio template and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates for 39 a year here we have the features included the widgets used in the template a few of the photos from the template uh, the community section if you had any questions about the template uh, this video will, will be right here above the community section and the preview page so you can take a look at the template and the different pages so here i'll go back to the shop all right, let's go back here. All right, looks good. So that's it for this video tutorial. There are now templates at the muse for You shop. Um, if you have any questions about the template, you can let me know in the section below or on the community page within the template page. But yeah, that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.